Flatbed Gang. What it do, people? What it do, Flatbed Gang? Down here in Wilmington, North Carolina. What they call the Port City. Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, back when I used to work at Hornady, I was on a dedicated account out of Wilmington. As a matter of fact, I'm headed to the port right now with a dedicated account. It's, it's at the port too. It's not inside the port, but it's like five minutes from the gate. Today is December 31st, New Year's Eve. I'm headed back down here. I was just here Friday. Today is uh, Tuesday. I was just here Friday. I picked up a load of lumber. Y'all been wondering where I've been, but I man, I had like a week and a half off for Christmas. So I've been at the house. You know, if y'all follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, y'all say I've been home for a while. I came back out last Friday and I picked up this load that I'm bringing. Well, this is a long story. In the half mile, turn right on Carolina Beach Road, US 421. I picked up the load last Friday. It's kind of, I was kind of skeptical when I picked it up because it had some forklift drivers that didn't really know how to drive a forklift. So like they were, they were like loading the truck. In a quarter mile, turn right on Carolina Beach Road, US 421. Hey, GPS giving me wrong directions too. It's telling me to turn right, but for where I'm going, you just go straight. So yeah, it might, might try, it's going to have to reroute. But anyway, they were kind of skeptical. Like I was trying to throw my straps while I was getting loaded so I could get up out of there. But I couldn't throw my straps because these guys kept asking me questions. They were like, where you want me to put this? Where do I put that? I had 13 bundles. So they, they kept asking me questions like, I'm like, man, just load the truck. Let me throw the straps. Like, you know, you the forklift driver. But the guy, I could tell the guy was kind of new because uh, he didn't know how to operate the controls on the forklift. So he was asking me. At one point in time, he even asked me how to slide the forks on the forklift, how to slide it left and right. I was like, yeah, he's kind of new, but I ain't give him a hard time. It is what it is. Hey, we know we all got to start somewhere. But anyway, I, I'm not even going to say it was his fault because all he did was, you know, he followed the, he followed the order that, that they gave me at the office. The people at the office gave me the order. I took him to order, you know, so all he did was load what was on the, on the order. So anyway... I picked it up Friday, took it home. I left out yesterday morning around 4 a.m. I had about a four hour drive. This I was going to Saluda, Virginia, about four hours from the house, 223 miles. So I got up there, I got to the place. As soon as I pulled up, they was like, it was like, yo, you got the right address? I was like, that was like, it was like, we didn't, we didn't, we don't know anything about a load of lumber coming in. And I'm like, um, I'm like, yeah, this is the address on the bills or whatever. And they was like, yeah, we got two different locations, but we know we're in the same city. Turn left on that street and then turn right in 340 feet. You heard my GPS still trying to reroute me. It just told me to turn turn left. It's trying to make it. Turn left on that street and then turn right in 340 feet. I just turned the volume down because it's going to keep trying to reroute me. But straight ahead is the port. Straight ahead is the security gate. But uh, can't go inside the security gate right now because I got to go get a gate pass. Even though I got a twitch, I still got to check in at this gate and get a, a, a day pass or whatever. So I get all the way to Virginia. They come out. They talk, they was like, yo, don't don't unstrap it yet. So I'm like, all right. So I waited about 15, 20 minutes. The guy came back. He was like, yeah, go ahead and unstrap it. So I'm like, all right. I unstrapped the load. I got the load on strap. I'm rolling out my straps. Some people from the front office came out. You know, business people. You, you know, you can tell the business people when you say you know, they, they got on khaki pants, khaki pants, collar shirts, stuff like that. So yeah, they came out there looking at the load. So apparently, they ordered a load of two by fours, but they ended up shipping what I had on my truck was a load of two by sixes. <laughs> so I'm like, man, so I'm thinking the guy was joking. He was like, yeah, you're gonna have to take that back. I was like, what? I'm thinking the guy was joking because he had a smirk on his face. 
And he was like, yeah, we didn't order any two by two by uh two by sixes, we ordered two by fours. So I was like, man. So I called PNS, told my dispatcher what was going on. She told me to hang tight. She was like, yeah, we might be able to co-sign it to somebody else in the area. So I'm like, okay. So I went ahead, threw my straps, put the straps back on the load. By the time I did that, that took, probably took about 15, 20 minutes. By the time I did that, my DM called me back. She was like, well, I got some bad news. Got to take it back to the shipper. I was like, what? But it's all good, though. I mean, basically, that just doubled up the pay on it. So same with the same rate that they I, that they paid me to take it up there, they paid me the same rate to come bring it right back. So it's it's basically like I did a load. I took a load up, then I got a reload coming back. That's basically all it was. So it is what it is. Well, I'm here now at the North Carolina port. I got to go inside here and check in and get my uh my day pass. And, that's what we're going to do right now. Just got my permanent gate pass. This is the only port you got to go through all those hurdles, man. I had to go inside there. I had to read a book. Take a picture. Hey, the guy, he was already pissed off. Because the man in front of me, he, got, he had his wife in the truck. And you can't take no passengers inside here. So the man, that was giving the security guard a hard time. And actually it wasn't a security guard, it was an actual police officer. So he was pissed off because that prime driver that had his wife, he was like, well, why can't I take my wife? Hey, that's how it is in this place, man. You can't take no passengers. But check this out. He could take his pets, but he couldn't take his wife. That's crazy. So the man, I told the man I read the book. He was like, ain't no way you read the book that fast. And I was like, do I gotta take a test after I read it? He was like, no, but I didn't know that you read it. So he told me to step outside for a little bit, drink some coffee, smoke a cigarette, whatever. But he told me, make sure I read the damn book. So that's what I had to do. Now I gotta go through the security. Now they gotta check my damn truck. I came through here the other day. They tore my damn truck up. But this time, I took everything off my bed so they don't make a mess. I took everything off the bed so when they flip it up, ain't gonna be no problems. So I gotta step out the vehicle real quick. Oh wow, guess what? Since I got a port badge, since I got a port badge now, they didn't have to search my vehicle. Oh wow. Yeah, when you get that day pass, man, they be turned, hey, they tear your truck up. They open up every cabinet. They flip the bed up. If you got a laundry bag, they, they dump it out. Hey, since I got that port badge now, as soon as I hopped out, hey, they was like, yo, you got any weapons, drugs? I was like, nah, I ain't got nothing. They was like, you sure? I was like, yeah, I ain't got nothing. Hey, I went on, hey, I came right on in. How y'all like this view? You see all those port containers? Man, I wish y'all could have heard that prime driver, man. He was, hey, he was highly pissed. <laughs> he, was, he was highly pissed, man. He was like, so you telling me I can take my pets, but I can't take my wife? <laughs> hey, that is kind of messed up, man. Hey, they was like, they were like, only people who have a business purpose can come inside the, come inside the port. And he was like, well, what if I use my wife for navigation? She tells me when to turn left. And I was like, man, this guy was being an asshole. But the officer that was in charge of the of the little thing, you know, hey, he kept his cool. He kept his cool. <laughs> he was like, look, ma'am, I understand your frustrations, but there's nothing I can do about it. He was like, I don't make the rules. He was like, this is that's a Coast Guard rule. So I'm like, man. So look, like I was saying. By the time, by the time it got to me, hey, the guy was like, uh, hey, when I when I flipped through that book real quick, and I and I acted like I read it, he was like, no, why does everybody want to try me today? I was like, my bad, man, my bad. I was like, hell, 
If you ain't got to take no test after you read the book, what's the point of reading it word for word? <laughs> oh, man. This building on my left, Porter Wilmington Cold Storage. That's where that prime dropper was hitting. He got a reefer truck. Yeah, that's the building he headed to. <sighs> man. I got to go all the way down here. Past the police station. Once I pass, this, this is my third time here. That's how I, that's how I know all the little ins and outs. I got to go down here, past the police station, make a left, follow the road all the way around. Hey, it is eight eight fifty right now. Y'all know what time it was when I first got here. It was seven thirty. It's eight fifty now. I was in that place that long. Cause when I first got there, it was. It was a guy at the, at, the, at the desk getting situated, but he was almost finished. It took him about maybe 10 more minutes. And while he was doing that, I was uh, filling out my paperwork that I had to fill out. And then that prime driver took him about 30 minutes to get situated. Then you had me. I had to wait for him to process my paperwork. That took about 15, 20 minutes. Then they had to take a picture check this out. I ain't even made it to where I'm going yet. I'm, and and I, I, I hope they don't give me a hard time about bringing this load back. I'm just going to tell them like, look, I took the load up there, they rejected it. Y'all need to pull that stuff up in y'all system. Hey, I don't know. That's above my head. All I do is drive the truck. <laughs> I don't make the calls on the loads and all that. Hey, all I do is drive the truck. Hey, so when I, when I get up here, you know, they want to give me a hard time by bringing it back, whatever. I'm like, look, you might need to call, the, call that customer. And that's slow too, man. So hopefully it's not a lot of trucks back here. Because I know I got to get back in line to get, I got to get in line and wait for the guys that's already getting loaded. Almost there. Hey, for all y'all that watch my videos, it's not truck drivers. I know there's got to be a sight. Y'all seeing all this, all this stuff out here. It's definitely a sight to see. That truck that just passed me. I don't know if y'all can read the side of it, but that was a U.S. Coast Guard truck. Woo! Almost there. We got one more curve. One more curve, and then we'll be at place. I called my DM on the way here and asked my DM to try to get me a reload out of the port. Cause they got lumber here and they got steel. So maybe I can get a reload. I don't want to leave outside the port and then gotta come back in. So maybe they can get me a reload. Ah oh, man, it's a lot of trucks. Those ain't flatbeds though. Those are like some grain trucks. Yeah, those are grain trucks. I see one flatbed pulling up right now. Looks like we just got one flatbed. But this is just people checking in. You got other trucks that's already in the loading area. I don't know if those guys got grain or wood chips. Because they got wood chips out here too. They got like big mountains of wood chips. Let's bust this U-turn. Pull up and park. Get on up here and park. Flatbed game. Pull up beside this other flatbed. One of my flatbed brothers. Flatbed gang in the building. I think we'll be good right here.
Let's go check in once again. Looks like I'm next in line. Hey, when I first got here, man, I almost had some bad news. God told me. He was like, we don't accept returns. He was like, once it leaves the port, that's it. We don't accept them back. I was like, what? I was like, man, I drove, what, 200, 240 miles to get back to Wilmington from Virginia. I was like, you know, that's that's something that, you know, could have been, could have been solved on a phone call. But uh, come to find out, I had to end up waiting like half an hour. He was like, you know what? He had to make some phone calls or whatever. So uh, about 30 minutes after he told me that, they, they called me back up to the uh, window and told me to go ahead and get in line. So they got it, they got it situated. I was trying to get another load while I was already over here in line because it's, it's a I say about a 50% chance I'll, I'll get a reload out of the same area. But since I don't have a load right now, after I get unloaded, I'm going to go back over to the little staging area and park and wait on wait on another load. And if I get another load here, I got to get back in line. It's 10, 13 right now. So if I could be unloaded, should take a long to unload me. I just don't want to be stuck here while they go to lunch. Because they go to lunch at 12. So, you know, if he can go ahead and uh, get me unloaded real quick. And if I do get a reload here, I'm already here. But I got to get back in line. It's a, right now, it's a Shelton truck behind me. A lot, a lot of trucks probably ain't coming in right now because they know they're about to go to lunch. So, hopefully... Hey, that's what it comes down to. I just go sit over there and chill, eat me a pack of tuna, drink some water or something. Or maybe I might end up going to Regalwood. Regalwood ain't far from here. They, they ship lumber too. Regalwood probably about 15 miles from where I'm at now. You see, them, you see that forklift driver talking to the driver? Look at him talking. That's why it's so slow. Hey, I, I, I didn't film nothing last Friday when I came, but I when I first got here, I got here at lunchtime. I had to end up waiting, waiting for them to come back for lunch. And then I had, uh, what, two trucks? Yeah, two trucks in front of me that were getting loaded. Man, they were so slow. This forklift driver right here. If y'all seen my Snapchat from last Friday, y'all have seen. But this man right here, he look like he know what he doing. With them guys that was over here last week, nah, they was they was lost. You see how that guy put two stacks up there at one time? Those guys were putting one. They were putting one stack at a time. <laughs> oh man, that was it was so crazy. They'll put one stack, then they get the other stack and, and put it up there. Then they want me to help them get lined up or whatever. Hey, that's how you do it. How this guy doing two stacks at a time, in and out, get these trucks in and out. And he got, he got four, he got 12 bundles on that, on that truck right now. I got 13 on mine, but he got, he got 12 on that one. Four on each layer. Well, on in each little rope. It's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, six on the top, six on the bottom. So that's, how many is that all together? 12 individual. So if you put 12 up there one at a time, that's going to take longer than putting two at a time. Because you only got to do it six times. Y'all see that yacht going by there? That's the, that's the Cape Fear River. I parked right beside it. I, I've actually uh, rode jet skis out there in that river. But I never rode on a, on a speedboat. Battleship is uh back to up back to the right if you see that river go to the right the battleship right back there north carolina battleship all right gang let's play the waiting game Woohoo! 
guess what, gang? Finally getting loaded. Have to wait for an hour and 45 minutes. Skip that Shelton truck. They messed up his paperwork. Yeah, we know about that. That's why I had to bring my load back. They love messing up paperwork. Line up real quick. Let's get to it, gang. Flatbed gang. <laughs> 